Hello, 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 hello collective. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I welcome you and uh, all my loyal support. I thank you and appreciate you uh, for continuing to support me to you new people who's coming. I hope I can give you a little bit of something today. I appreciate each and every one of you and I love you and uh, I've got a reading pulled out for us here today and I hope it helps someone out here. I'm going to read these first. So right now it's telling you to go after your goals. You need to persist in going after your goals. I'm encouraging you at the moment that that's the only way that you'll advance when you keep persistently going after your goals. I like this card. So maybe you've had to fight a many battles in your life, but it's all right. Just keep going. And as seeker, you're a seeker of more knowledge, you know. You keep seeking out more and more. Seeker. It says, don't seek anyone's approval. This is this is for your approval. Maybe your birthday is the 12th. But it's telling you, don't worry about what others say. You know, you know the way to go and uh, just worry about it like that, okay? And then I pulled out uh, full moon, and once a month, the orbit of the Earth is exactly in between the both the sun and the moon, resulting in the full moon. During this phase, energy is extremely emotional, passionate, and ready for release. This is a good time to let go of anything that ain't long, no longer serving you. The full moon can also shed light on inner truths, bringing clarity and personal discoveries. The full moon will be across the zodiac from... The sun in this phase. For example, if the sun is in Aries, the moon will be in Libra. People born in this moon in this phase are typically emotional, sensitive, and compassionate. Uh, so, if somebody's born on the full moon, they are very emotional, sensitive, and compassionate. Then we poured out Scorpio, and that's you're very brave, passionate, and loyal. Scorpio is one of the most determined signs of the zodiac. Scorpios love to get to know you, and they have the most amazing memory of all the signs. They're often met with many difficult life experiences that force them to grow beyond their years. Scorpios connect deeply to the phases of life, death, and rebirth. Represented by the scorpion, they can be fierce. If you cross a Scorpio, prepare to be stung. Oh, they'll sting you back now. They'll sting you back. Then we got Libra, diplomatic, intelligent, and social. Libras are all about balance. Represented by the scales and ruled by Venus, they prefer study relationships that are full of shared experiences. They take their partnerships to the next level of seriousness and expect the exact same return. When they don't find a partner to offer the balance and mirroring that they seek, they must undergo a great deal of self-discovery to understand who they are so they can attract healthier connections in the future. So if they don't, if they can't find a partner who is a lot like them, they got to go inside and uh, clean up their self to understand what a healthy connection is. And pre-shadow retrograde is a phase of the retrograde occurs in the days leading up to the retrograde cycle. In this cycle, you may feel the built up to the actual retrograde prior to the station date when the planet appears to stop before beginning retrograde. This phase provides major clues and can already feel as though the planet itself is in retrograde. For example, the pre-shadow phase of a Venus retrograde could have you find an object or remember an X in some way during the actual retrograde cycle, they might make an appearance in your life. Ooh, somebody might be going to make an appearance in your life before it, before whatever next planet's going into retrograde, which might be Libra or Scorpio. That's why I pulled out, see, because it's Virgo right now, so it'd be Libra and Scorpio next. So pay attention to what I said. They might be, uh, you might run across them. Whoever it is you're coming here to pay attention to and then mid heaven come out and that represents your ambitions aspirations public status and life goals during your adult years provides an understanding of the essence of your character and your work ethic and your public status and achievements and your life goals and your career and success and it's telling you that you need to make you a vision board today look in your 10th house and make a vision board today 
and uh, maybe in your tenth house, it has to do with astrology and stars, and this is your destiny, and make your main priority in life to stand up for yourself and for your beliefs, because you've got loyal support, baby. You got a lot of support from people from from a lot of different cultures that it says you need to go on a vacation. You might be going to a different culture on vacation. 533, I just seen. And then over here, they, somebody I'll be doing is lie and run your name through the dirt and the ringer. Now that you're healing, they want to come back around in your energy. But they got in and out, in and out, in and out energy. And I don't think you would want that person. Whoever it is, uh, just be honest and... And you're happy, fun, 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 and you make marriage look easy, and and whoever this mom and dad is that wishes that they had your life, they can't go where you're going. Whoever this is, they can't go where you're going. You're getting ready to travel, didn't you see how that come out? A different culture. Expect the best for your life, because you may be healing from past hurts. You're hanging on to emotions and things that you need to leave in the past, so you can find your peace and happiness again. So so expect the best for your life now since you started healing. Are you listening? And you're cutting the heads off of every person who had hurt or harmed you. And um, this is a... Uh, this is somebody who wanted to cause a war with you, Okay. And they want it to uh, keep the hurt. They want it to allow that hurt to stay stuck in your present moment. But you cut off these people's heads. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, and uh, if you went through a Kundalini awakening and this energy rests like a coiled serpent at the base of the spine, dormant energy flows freely upward through the seven chakra energy centers and leads to an expanded state of consciousness. Kundalini awakening. So if you went through a Kundalini awakening, you can hear a lot of EVPs. Electronic voice phenomenons. And uh, the angels come to heal you and minister to you in your time of need. And, and they're wanting you to know that you did all this all by your damn self. Now that's what the angels wanted you to know. Are you listening? You did this all by yourself. Divine feminine. Divine feminine, you're very wise, accepting, forgiving, collaborative, and reflective. You work from heart center because it's your world. Oh, and a little heart come out on that. Ain't it funny how spirit does? I love spirit, don't you? And then it said uh, they love to trick, it, to trick you and deceive you. And now that you left them, they're figuring out how can they trick you again. No, no more tricks. They're going through a divorce. Whoever was tricking you and wanting to keep lying to you. They're getting ready to have a divorce. And the same people that did you wrong are telling a different version of the story now to other people. And now they're playing like they're the victim. And you're leveling up big time. Oh, wow, that's amazing. You're leveling up. Oh, God. And who's to say that a smile or an outstretched hand from a stranger is not an act of an angel in disguise? That's by unknown. Who's to say? This person has a spiritual background. Ooh, they love you, play, play. That's what it means. And it could be this person that ghosted you. But they had a lot of karma to clear up over the years. Ready or not, they're coming to see you. Ready or not, it said now. Ready or not, that person that ghosted you, they go out in the moonlight and they call out for the divine to bring them their love to them. That was from the beginning of time. And they're going to make you cry when you find out how much they love you. 9-11. They're going to make you cry. 911, that's what it is. Your twin wants to discuss if y'all come together what your family will look like. Then they can't wait to get you alone. Oh, God, they're going to get you alone and, and tell you about all this bullshit that y'all had to go through. And it's going to be so uh, similar. You're all stories, and they're wanting to let you know that they know somebody put a damn device on your vehicle and tracked you. And the law was tracking you. That was a red flag. They wanted you to know that was a red flag. It's from us. And these people that did this to you, they're in depression at the moment. That's their uh, that's their karma. This is the Wounded Healer Chiron comment. 
So they're receiving car their karma is they're going to be depressed. And spirit is telling you these people that tried to keep fitting themselves in your life and in a situation that didn't pertain to them. Go shopping with this money that spirit is bringing to your life from these people that did you wrong. Oh, we will, spirit. We thank you. Did you hear how spirit said that? 1022. <laughs> oh, and it said, shake, rattle, and roll. Grab a rattle. Rattle all around yourself as you move your body. Visualize any stuck energies vibrating right out. If something feels like it needs an extra shake or two, trust the sensation and rattle a little more. The Collective Unconscious, psychotherapist Carl Jung pos posited that each of us has a direct link to the collective unconscious. It's the place from which all our symbols, archetypes, and rituals originate. You can think of something you know to be true, but you're not sure where that knowledge came from. So we all have this the, uh, as a collective. And amplify your intuition. Your body is constantly reading more information from the world, but most of the info comes in forms of your conscious brain. 11, 11, twin flame, I love you. Of your conscious brain, it can't quite process. Try free writing. Recall your dreams or know some patterns to amplify your intuition and give this information a form your conscious mind can work with. That's what I do every day. That's why I have always new different little sounds. It helps me. It helps me. Oh, and write a stellar story. Imagine lying on your back, staring up at the night sky. The modern world falls away. Maybe it's 2,000 years ago, maybe 2 million if you had no scientific knowledge of the universe, what story might you tell about the stars and their relationship to the earth and to you? Yeah, what story might you tell? You know, if it was 2,000 years away from now. The experimenter affects the experiment, recognizing the presence of you, your emotions, thoughts, and biases in your magical experiments is foundational to your mystical work. So you got to recognize who you are and unleash your senses. What do you smell standing under the night sky? Is it strange to be sniffing the night? No. No, it smells good. Go outside and sniff the night. It'll make you feel better. I believe that. I surely believe it. Somebody in a different culture said, You did this all by yourself, baby. It's your world. We hear them EVPs on your channel. Because you got a spiritual background, we all do, and uh, they're telling you go shopping with that money and pay attention to these red flags. Somebody's getting a damn divorce, and you're cutting off the heads of everybody that harms you. Ready or not, it's happening. They're getting ready to be depressed, and they're going to cry when they find out that you're leveling up big time because you started expecting the best for your life, and this in and out, in and out bullshit you let go of, they can't go where you're going. You've got loyal support, and you're making a vision board today, and somebody can't wait to get you along. They said, now, bye-bye, they can't wait. They can't wait. And this was an angel in disguise that you met. Oh, it's angel in disguise. Then the angels brought him to help heal you, divine feeling. Y'all gonna go on a vacation. Y'all gonna be doing the stars together and having Kundalini awakening. Oh, wow, and these people... That's going around lying and playing the victim. Oh, well. They're going to see you having happy, fun, fun moments. And they can't get back around your energy. They're living in a war zone. You're living in your future. Uh, and you're healed. you already healed from the past. They, no, no, they can't trick you again. This person that ghosted you... Had a lot of car had a lot of karma and was cl was cleaning up all that karma and they know the law followed you this far and them too because these people was lying on you and your twin wants you to discuss if y'all come together what your family will look like and they're calling out in the moon for you baby they want you they only want you now did you hear that. <coughs> All right, and I pulled out Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. And I see where it's at. Two eighteen. The Grand Canyon. 
<sighs> the image of a man and a woman with their hair interwoven, making them as one, is a reminder that great spirit created them equally. Each respects and honors the other. Have you known each other equally? Was it reflected by your parents, for example, or did you learn that man was dominant? You must address any past imbalances by honoring both your masculine and your feminine aspects. The Halalupi tribe, custodians of this land, teach that only by coming together can happiness be achieved. Note on the card that the great Colorado River, whose endless flowing is also depicted in the power symbol. Let your emotions flow to heal yourself and your family and bring equilibrium to your relationship with the opposite sex. That's what this bottom means. Now the middle. The middle world. The Grand Canyon represents the vast potential within you. One of the seven natural wonders of the world. It lies within the land of the Hualapi, or people of the tall pines, the pine tree, and evergreen. Symbolizes peace, harmony, creativity, growth, and immortality. Do you have peace, harmony, and creativity in your life? If not, why don't you? Do you suffer from traits of excessive masculinity in yourself or others, which include being aggressive, controlling, refusing help, blocking emotions, or is there too much femininity in your life in the form of emotional blackmail, playing the martyr, neglecting your own needs? Where in your life do you need to grow? The rites of the Halalupi tribe include a mourning seminary, ceremony and a maturity ceremony. Today, choose either to mourn your losses and then release them or to celebrate your growth into one of the wise people who honors themselves, others, and the land. And then the upper world potential, the sun is ready to shine in your life if you choose to balance the yin female and yang male within you. You will heal yourself and extend healing also along the timelines of your ancestors. Start with the meditation right where the, when there is balance within your family, you can move on and work with the great spirit who shines down on you and all you do. The sun is a symbol of life. Without it, nothing will grow. The sun represents the dawn of the Halalupi people and of you too. As you look at the ray that flows from the sun in the upper world down to the lower world, remember the good times in your life. You are a part of life, a creation. You are sacred. You must find your own philosophy. Greet the sun each day as it comes up and thank the creator for your life and as the sun sets each day remember those who have gone before you and whose lives have brought you to where you are today you need to close your eyes and imagine that a protective second skin envelops you breathe deeply bring your attention to your stomach visualize complete darkness and seek sink into it Feel yourself drawn into the ground, connecting with the earth. Breathe up feminine energy from the darkness into the soles of your feet. Then exhale it back into the earth. Repeat this several times. Now pull this energy into your stomach area, letting it connect with your own energy. Next, breathe in masculine energy in the form of white light from above. Since this light pouring into your head and down into your neck, your torso, your legs, and your feet. Watch the light energy connect with the dark, grounding earth energy. Alternate breathing up feminine energy and drawing down masculine energy until there is a perfect balance of light and dark within your body. When you have finished, cut off the energy from above and below, knowing that you have been replenished and give thanks. I love that spirit. I love how the Indians think, don't you guys? You need to do that. So you need to meditate. That's pretty, ain't it? This reminds me of Aquarius. See how the water looks like that? That's why I'm balanced in my masculine and feminine, I think. <coughs> pretty well. All right, you guys. Let me give you one little romance. Let me give you one little romance. One little romance. Oh, wow. Trust you're going to have a wedding. Oh, God. I just fell out of nowhere. Trust your wedding. Trust your marriage. Oh, trust it and, and make the effort. You gotta make the effort now. Let's say uh, now they love you big because you're gonna have children. So whoever's watching me out there, trust this situation. Call for you to have faith. They, now trust that you're all gonna get married. Trust you're gonna get married, but first you gotta make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And trust that you're gonna have a wedding and you're gonna have children, your love life. 
is being affected by children. But I think it's saying trust that you're going to get married and have children. Whoever's listening to me, you are. Trust it now. Don't don't rush your long, young life away, girls. If you're in your 20s, don't. Don't. Enjoy the time you got as you're... As, you being young and the person that's meant for you will just fall right into your lap right at that person perfect time trust me i know what i'm talking about that's how it's always been that's how it was for me 2020 so trust it all right well i love you guys and uh here here's when they might come to you here's when oh it might be it might be in eight days or eight weeks everything is in progress find your center in 12 weeks or 12 months it could be in pisces season two and you're going to harvest the crop in six weeks or six months. So any of these in six weeks or six months, 12 weeks or 12 months, or eight days or eight weeks, it's happening for somebody out here now. For three of you all. Are you listening? All right. Well, I love y'all. Peace. I'm going to upload this.